Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry have made parts in Star Wars, The Last Jedi The Two Princes recorded, the scene when they visited the set in April 2016. Latest installment of the Star Wars franchise stars Joggin Boyega and Daisy Ridley stars including Alexandra, Burke flooded the red carpet in Royal Albert Hall. The force was strong in London tonight as the Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry joined a host of famous faces for the premiere of Star Wars, The Last Jedi. The dapper royals rubbed shoulders with members of the film's cast and crew including BB-8 ahead of the star-studded screening, which is taking place at the Royal Albert Hall. The brothers have cameo roles as stormtroopers alongside movie hardman Tom Hardy, actor John Boyega, has previously. And tonight Boyega, who plays Finn, walked the red carpet alongside fellow stars Mark, Hamill, Luke Skywalker, Daisy Ridley, Ray, and Adam Driver, Kilo Ren. Ed Sheeran Stormzy and Jonathan Ross are some of the other guests expected to attend the star-studded bash. The premiere is being hosted in aid of the Royal Foundation, with more than 400 young people, military, veterans and volunteers who have taken part in the charities programs attending the event. Some of the families who were affected by the Grenfell Tower tragedy will also attend tonight's premiere. The Last Jedi is the eighth film in the Star Wars saga, following on from 2015's hit The Force Awakens. It is the last film where Carrie Fisher will appear as Princess Leia, the actress died aged 60, shortly, after completing her final scenes. Boyega nearly missed the movie's Los Angeles premiere after he was stuck in a blizzard hit Atlanta over the weekend. The 25-year-old Londoner tweeted, trying to get back for the LA premiere. I actually need a pilot. The Prince's arrival tonight came after the glittering world premiere at LA's Shrine Auditorium on Saturday. The film's director-writer Ryan Johnson paid special tribute to late Princess Leia actress Carrie Fisher, as he introduced the screening. He said, I want to dedicate tonight to Carrie, who is up there right now flipping me the bird, saying, damn it Ryan, Don T you dare make this night a solemn tribute. So let us all have a blast tonight for Carrie. Carrie died at age 60 last December after completing her work on The Last Jedi. Episode 8, The Last Jedi, which is the longest ever Star Wars film with a running time of just over two and a half hours, will be released in UK cinemas on Thursday, December 14th. Lifelong royal fans get cameo role Star Wars superfans William and Harry secretly filmed cameo roles as stormtroopers for the latest installment in the blockbuster franchise. The royals recorded the scene when they visited the set in April 2016, as by the mail on Sunday. They appeared alongside Daisy Ridley and John Boyega the British actors who played Ray and Finn in last year's The Force Awakens, and Oscar winner Benicio Del Toro, who is believed to be playing new villain, Lord Vikram. Film goers will see the princes in their stormtrooper outfits but with their faces hidden behind helmet, visors, if the scene is kept in the final cut. 
earlier, on the well-publicized official part of the tour of Pinewood Studios in Buckinghamshire, the princes had been hugged by Kiwabaka and fought a mock lightsaber battle, to the delight of onlookers. But then everyone apart from the director, producer and essential crew was cleared from the set so the royal appearance could be filmed in secret. A source told the Mail on Sunday, the line given was that they were going to have lunch and a private tour of the rest of the set. What really happened is that the director came over and told them it was time to get suited and off they went to the wardrobe department. The princes dressed up in full stormtrooper gear and filmed a scene in which Rey and Finn infiltrate, a secret base. The rebel characters are in a lift with Benicia del Toro's character when a group of stormtroopers enter, two of whom are William and Harry. Inside scoop on the much-anticipated final installment The Last Jedi, which is out on December 15, picks up with the Resistance fighting Supreme Leader Snoke's First Order which is trying to take over the galaxy. The film's release comes two years after The Force Awakens. Rey, Daisy Ridley, tries to convince Luke, Skywalker, Mark Hamill, to join the Resistance and bring hope to the Rebels against Snoke's villainous rule. The star-studded ensemble cast, including Ridley, John Boyega, Lupita Nyong'o, Adam Driver, Andy Serkis, and Hamill. Disney has a strict embargo on full reviews until Tuesday, but early spoiler-free reaction has been universally positive. Star Wars – The Last Jedi is everything. Intense, funny, emotional, Exciting. It's jam-packed with absolutely jaw-dropping moments and I loved it so, so much. I'm still shaking, wrote Gizmodo's Jermaine Lussier. Slash Films Peter Serretta tweeted, Star Wars, The Last Jedi is so very different, exciting, surprising. So many emotions, so many amazing moments. Stay away from spoilers. The LA Times' Jen Yamato claimed, Star Wars, The Last Jedi is so beautifully human, populist, funny, and surprising. I cried when one POC heroine got her moment because films like these leave their mark on entire generations, and representation matters. The original trilogy's plot focused on the Rebel Alliance, led by Leia and its battle to destroy the Galactic Empire space station, the infamous Death Star, manned by supervillain Darth Vader. Luke Skywalker, then a simple farm boy, acquires droids that possess stolen blueprints for the Death Star. By Eve Buckland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.